when last we left our party. The group has headed off in search of Arius in the woods. All with the exception of Whisper, who, due to being indisposed as a result of a mischievous magical trinket's effect on their body, stayed behind the friendly arm. The group, after deciding to confess their concerns over situations, as well as address the concerns of Gendel, the innkeeper, <clears throat> the proprietor of the Friendly Arm Inn, too, were given information that Arias is headed no has headed north. Well, that would be north. Yeah, has headed north northwest into the woods outlying Tent Town, where he has gone. No one knows as he has left in the dead of night. Pursuing his tracks, finding a small orphan snake, and eventually meeting up with him once again, the group has found themselves at ease of worry, but not without their own emotional trepidations within you know, their own respective emotional trepidations. However, conversations and snips at one another were cut short as the party was beset by a gang of mountain lions. All the while, Whisper has uh, recovered her constitution and has pursued a more intimate line of dialogue with individuals and in information gathering. However, we'll talk about that a little later. For as the moment, we will actually pick up with our group as they uh, sit catching their breath after a bloodied battle. Uh, Garnet, the tabaxi monk, Soren, the Kenku monk, Arius, the lizard folk fighter, now with a bloodied maw and bloodied chest, as he has now proceeded to. Best way to explain it, Gator spin one of the mountain lions' heads off, and Lorelai, the sea elf, druid, and Elias, the blue scale Yuanti paladin. You stand amongst you, the battle fought, safety, secured, uh, peace reestablished. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to start cleaning a lot, uh, not Elias, Arias. Like, you know, a noble should be uh, more cleanly than that, so it's quite brutal. Mm. It's effective. Sure. And while. Sorry. And Arias will look at you. Mm -hmm. For a while. Just does the fucking SpongeBob blink. Just. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, do I notice she has no noble stuff anymore? I believe you rolled for that last session. I I did when I first met him. Um, Adios, are you allowing Elias to like tend to you and clean up both your wounds and your appearance? Hmm. If he tries, I will gently remove his hand and do it myself. At yeah. least, how much I can. Elias, do you accept this? Yeah, sure. You'd like what? Uh, you I can go ahead and roll me an investigation with disadvantage. Intelligence based. Ah. Four. Yeah, Two. it's he's Oops. bloodied, my dude. Uh -huh. He turns around, is anyone else bloodied? Garnet's pretty bloodied. She had the whole, you know, thing with one of the mountain lions. Ah, uh, yes. Well, then if, if, uh, if you allow her, Elias, not her, him, jeez. If you allow him, Elias, man. If you allow him, Elias would like to help you as well, tend your wounds and clean you up too. If you allow him to. Mm. I dare say, like, you know, kind of would sort of like, you know, accept a, I mean, how is he doing this? I guess is a good, is a good question. Like, how is he, how is Elias um, clean, helping Garnet clean up? I mean, he's got cloth, he's got a, he's wetting it down with his water skin and just like dabbing. Sometimes wiping, if it's like metal or whatever. I mean, Garnet you know, he's dabbing, like he's whipping, he's <laughs> nanaying. <laughs> Um, Darling, this is a moment and shut up. 
I suppose, like, you know, she'd accept a couple of, uh, you know, spots here and there, but, like, you know, just sort of just uh, nudge you away after a little bit, just saying, I can take care of the rest myself. Yes. I would look at Lorelai and Soren, and if they need help, I will also help them. Being nice boy is fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah, my work um, here is kind of done. <laughs> I don't think Lorelai's been killed at once. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just I looks at Lorelai. Uh, picking the teeth and the picking the teeth and the claws off the these mountain lions. She's good. Mm-hmm. Can I can I look at what everybody's reaction is like to this combat? I mean, Lorelai is already collecting teeth and all. I will allow you to do a general insight check unless someone is opposed to you inciting their character. Eh, don't care. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Okay. I don't care if you insight. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Good, good roll. Good Four. roll. Damn. Uh, you are still coming down what can only be described as like uh, you're not afflicted with blood frenzy but you felt the gurgling you felt it like gurgling and bubbling up inside you this like primal uh, almost like instinctual uh, blood frenzy but you're fine hmm. okay. uh, Elias would like to like Tear like a small bit of the white mountain line meat and just like present it to Nirvana. Uh, go ahead and roll me animal handling. Cause snakes gotta eat. Ah. Oh. oh no. And no, no buffs because of meat oh. guy. Oh. Gonna roll severity. That one severity. Nothing happens. Remember, the higher it is, the worse. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh, sorry, no, bud. No, don't say that, Soren. No, no, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but uh, as yeah. you check your, with the context of last session and your rose from last session, as you check, as you pull up, you notice that Nirvana is on your shoulder, so you look at the other one and you uh, can't seem to find them. Immediately sad face. Just like throws the meat into his jaw and just eats it a little bit. I don't want to allow that without a roll because you want tea. It's a tough yeah. stomach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'm immune to poison, so. Oh, you're immune to poison? Yeah, never mind. You're fucking fine. Also, it's a fresh kill. Come on. Yeah, but yeah. Valentine and Lion, you don't know if they're a rabid or not. Sorry, I'm playing on the fine. But yeah, uh, you do not see Nirvana on either of your shoulders, and I'll just give it to you now. You don't feel Nirvana on your person. Why is he sad now? We should either move soon or decide to rest here, one or the other. Well, I think we shouldn't stay here. The uh, sense of all these dead carcasses would probably affect other bigger things. Hmm. We should move. Let's. I concur. Let's we go. should move. Has everyone Let's got go what they wanted then? Okay, uh, Garnet shall uh, rise to her feet and uh, shall sort of like uh, get ready to go. Life stands up. It's a little sad, but it's fine. Now yeah, we should get going. Do you want to look for Nirvana, maybe? I would you love just want to look, look for Nirvana. I'm waiting for anyone to just be like, oh, what's wrong, Elias? And, but no one's, like, asking, like, do you want to look for Nirvana? I would love to. I'll make a perception check. Yeah, why don't, Train, how, why don't you try to include Lorelai or someone else in this, and then I'll let you guys, t- I'll tell you what you guys should roll. Yeah, 
anyone seen Havana? Who is... Oh. Snake? He is not here. He is not a snake. Got it, no. Black splats. Green bells on the belly. Baby. Big. <laughs> Gunner shall uh, take a look around her immediate surroundings to... She'll get low on the ground to be like, hmm, is there a snake in the grass? There's a snake in my boot! <laughs> yes, that's what, that is what I was going for. <laughs> no, I, I haven't yeah. seen them, but definitely not. And Ooh, also get baby, on you're, the... you're, robot. you're very barbled. <laughs> If you were trying to speak just now, BB, it didn't quite come through. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh. I think it's just your internet. It might be your internet crapping out. Oh dear. Well, I mean, uh. <laughs> so I guess uh, we, we do some checks then. Yeah. As you guys look around, you find this. What? T Ray, what? <laughs> Kidding. Uh, yeah, you guys are all welcome to do uh, investigation, perception, or survival checks. I would, like your to give, I would like to assist Garnet with her perception. Oh, huh. Yeah. Is that advantage or proficiency adding to? Because. Mm. Oh, no! Oh, no, baby. Wow, and in that one, on that too. But hey, at yeah. least Soren's got something. Hopefully. Giant T Rex. You find Jurassic Park. Congratulations. Sorry. Sorry, looks at the T Rex. Oh, hi, Greg. Oh, hi, Greg. Oh, hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Hello, Soren. Oh, no, it's Marwin. Alright. Let's see what the rolls are. Garnet's an eight. God, it's a 14. Well, plus one. And that's what's, uh, yeah, as you look damage. around, uh, none of you can really tell, but uh, Soren, you of all people, actually, uh, your sharp bird eyes kind of notice a rustling in the grass in the thicket down towards the south. Um, like, towards this direction. This would be the east. I need to make my own cardinal directions. Down this way. Do hunt snakes. Exactly, and you could swear that you saw like the sliver of a tail ducking in between like some shrubs back there where the forest grows thicker. Alright, I guess um I guess Sorn will uh give a whistle to get one to perch in the head once we as she starts to attack the ocean. Alright. Uh Tobias goes. And he asks for no one, no one come, just the two of us. So they get scared. Try not to take too long. Not to ask me anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, Elias, go ahead and roll me a perception or an investigation check. Why? I'll give you advantage. No, no. Roll. I, good thing I gave you advantage. <laughs> just the fucking no! <laughs> We're, we're getting them out of the way, everybody. We're getting the mat ones out of the way. Refresh roll 20, I will have the snake. Oh, oh my gosh. You might want to, yeah, hop out of the game and back in. <laughs> just, I'm gonna reset my, I'm just gonna reset my computer, guys. <laughs> yeah, you go to look and Lorelai stabs you in the neck. Alright, nope. <laughs> now one. 
Um, yeah, so with a 12, you rustle around, and eventually as you push the shrubbery aside, like you kind of move it up and to the side, you see the little snake that you have called Nirvana kind of slithered underneath the root, like in the roots of a bush, kind of like looking at you timidly. Hi, I cast Animal Friendship on C on it, so it's... Click Animal Friendship for me? There we go. So, spell convinced of this, you mean no harm, and it's now charmed, because it probably has a less intelligence than pork. Alright, the snake is charmed. Do you- how many times a day can you do that? Uh, infinite. At will. Mm. You want to be a spell casting. You know, the poison is very cantrip, you also can ask animal friendship in an unlimited amount of times. So this trait, you want to target snakes with it. Mm. Okay. I'll allow it. Mm. Okay. The little snake slithers out. Hi. And I'll present more food. It slowly, almost like mechanically, moves forward and takes the food from you, and slowly moves back and eats it. Cool. Uh, I will gesture to get on to an on the finger and set it up. Alright. Uh, as you move the finger toward it, it doesn't even react at all, unlike before, and it just slowly kind of coils around your finger and starts slithering up your hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole time you hear Garnet kind of like tapping her foot behind you, <laughs> and you're like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The way, the way you're making it sound like it's moving is She's just standing there. The way you make it sound so sad. I know. I will, I will walk back to the group and let's get going. Lead the what way. were you doing? What? And what were you doing? Ah, Nirvana ran off. Nirvana? He points the snake on his shoulder. Ah, a friend. Hello. Do you say hello to the snake? I did. Hello. Okay. Are you trying to interact with the snake or are you just like waving at it? Just waving. Okay. Nothing you wave to the snake. It does not react. Okay. Should we move then? Who's going to lead the way? I am still sitting on my tiger. Oh, lion, sorry. Oh, we got to get the going. Lead the way. Yeah, with, uh, with, with Adios's, uh, survival checks from the rest of, from the day earlier and prior, as well as Lorelai's ability to kind of make heads and tails of this terrain. I'll let you guys, you don't even need to roll, you just tell me where you guys are headed to, and this is the way you'll head. Civilization. Oh, bongo, 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 I don't want to leave the jungle now. Da, 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 da. That's Congo, mister. Congo, jungle, same thing. <laughs> Gonna say towards Tent Town. Alrighty, boys. So you guys are all like in the woods here. What do you? God damn it! Yeah. So you guys are all like in the woods here. What y'all? What y'all doing? You guys are heading this way, heading that way, heading this way. Which way you're going? Uh, uh, um, we were heading towards the uh, friendly arms, weren't we? Yes. Heading towards the friendly arms. Okay. So I need a marching order, and I need you guys to tell me which way you're headed to the friendly arms. <laughs> 
So position yourself in the way that you guys would like to move forward. I think we could do uh, what we did last time. Mm. Yeah. It's like something like that. Uh huh. Was Soren was in the back because he was yeah. edge walking. Yeah. It was edge walking behind. So is this formation going this way or is this formation going this fuck this way? This way. Okay, so you have that one. Gotcha. Alrighty. Yep, you guys walk, and you guys walk through the woods. Uh, the sounds of whistling birds here and there just... Uh, it chirps through the woods every once in a while as the sound of leaves and uh, twigs snap under your feet as you guys have been walking pretty much off the trail. Uh, and you just step forward and step forward. And... Uh, Rolling behind the stream this time? Holy shit, phone, can you not crash on me right now? Thanks. Nope, you're still gonna crash. Okay. Cool. Alright. Um, yeah, and eventually, is there anything you guys like to do as you travel through these woods? You guys see the smells of both, like, there, there are pine trees as well as other trees, like, around you. Sometimes you can see the. The, the footing gets soft as, like, fallen needles as you enter, like, more pine-rich areas of the forest. Uh, the smell of sap as well fills your nose. Uh, but everything around you is genuinely peaceful as you travel. Uh, go ahead and run me a survival check. Uh, you keep an eye out for him as well as anything else, but there really doesn't seem to be anything. You don't pick up tracks or anything, so you have no idea if anyone's around you. Sorry? Is there anything else you'd like to do? You just kind of, <laughs> you just fell silent. Uh, no, nothing. Alright, is there anything else anyone else would like to do? No, I'm good. Alrighty. Uh, and then as you guys step forward, eventually you guys do clear the forest line that is the, um, that is the, kind of like the outskirts of Tentown. You see a small billowing smokestack not too far from your distance from where you are uh, as well as croppings of tents that seem to only get deeper as further Jesus Christ mouse alright so this week I'm buying a new mouse I can't do this anymore uh, and then this week uh, yeah it's, it's, it's making me irritated yeah I'll put you guys on the direction you're headed to probably over here there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, you stand between you, uh, around you is already a bunch of tents, as well as a smokestack not too far in the distance. Soren and Elias, you know where that is a source of. Uh, as well as the road winding out to the outside lands, as well as the inners of Tent Town and the gates of the librarian. Is there any... Oh, guys. Is everyone alive today? Yeah, I'm the one who's supposed to be dying. <laughs> we're, just, we're just walking. Be keeping my head on a swivel, kind of, to make sure that no one tries to, like, jump us or anything, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, it's just... I forgot. We have someone who's robbery from... Hey. One other time it was supposed to be you. People. It was supposed to be you at one time, but you couldn't. But it happened to you anyway. To me too, just on a separate day. I, I, I've been robbed like five or six times this, this entire campaign. It's only like, what, session 13 or something? 
Alright, so as you guys walk, you guys step onto a tree line, and if you guys are headed to the friendly arm in, just let me know so, but we're going to take the scene back over toward Whisper. Uh-huh. Me. You. Hi. Hi. Would you like to set the scene, or should I? Go for it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you, uh, after the events that has transpired, Grace currently has sat down. Uh, he's currently shirtless. He just has just put on pants and slacks, uh, kind of leaned down, and he is giving you this look that is can only be expressed uh, as a combination of like sarcastic apology and also just like, uh, well, what the fuck was that? Uh, you are currently on the floor. Uh, you've what? Dis you've re-robed yourself, at least put major like clothing or a sheet around you. What are you doing? Well, she's breathing, like taking a few deep breaths. But her eyes. Like, for, like, only this moment, she takes a few deep breaths, and then her eyes dart up to him, and they're focused, just... If her eyes, at this current moment, are like steel, she just looks up, and she's like... I'm gonna ask this as much as nice as I can. The fuck did you just do? <laughs> That's, uh... A little, he kind of flicks his fingers, and these, like, again, like, <laughs> these little wicks of, like, scion flame kind of, like, light up on them. It's like, it's just a little planar magic. Don't worry, it shouldn't have hurt you, or whatever you are. Well, let's just say I'm surprised to find out. Let's ask a different. Let's ask a different question. Why the fuck was that a good idea exactly? <sighs> he kind of like leans back in his chair and kind of runs his hand up his like up his palm. Like his, he runs his palm up his face, kind of like in his hair, hair back through his hair, and it's just like, <sighs> kind of like scratches the back of his head as he looks at you. It's just like, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry had to do it. Yoshiki no Hasuma had some reason to be interested in you, and you weren't telling me, and I needed to know why. It makes sense. To be fit, just so you know, I mean, if you're gonna be mad at me, that's fine. You have every right to be, but I meant what I said. Your secret's safe than me. Your secret safe with me. I will probably need to tell the other two. Your friend's actions have kind of pushed our hand, but it wasn't personal, kid. <laughs> wasn't personal, kid. All right. I trust it. I'm hoping I can trust that you'll keep this between us. Uh, kind of looks Tell to the door. No um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tell Dalron, and I'll probably have to tell Haruki as well. They're good people. Why? They're <laughs> they're much better than I am. They're much better people than me. They'll keep your secret. Don't worry. If you want to dissuade him from- you're welcome to continue roleplaying, but if you're wanting to dissuade him from his decision to tell Dalaran and Haruki, you're welcome to roll me a persuasion check. That's performance. <laughs> Alright, 13. Uh, continue roleplaying this, I will keep your role in mind. I admire that you think your friends are so kind, but- no. 
This can leave this room. I mean, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure this is already <clears throat> left this room. It's just a matter of who has this information. You can rest assured, you, Yoshikino know, Hazen will have no friends in my company, whether it be Dalaran, Haruki, or myself. Hell, they're the only reason I had to do that to you just now. She kind of heaves a sigh and kind of looks away. He's gonna inside you. Go for it. Uh, yeah, 23. So. Yeah, he's gonna look at you and just be like, you, uh, how you how is Whisper doing right now? You can DM this to me if you want to, if you don't want the party to get a full look into it, but how, how? He is literally shaking right now. <laughs> Uh, he kind of like sighs, kind of gets up off the chair, walks over towards the bar stool. Uh, have a drink. You want water or wine? She just kind of. She just kind of gives him a look. Um, you can be mad at me all you want, but you need a drink. Wine. He doesn't turn around to you, by the way. He just nods as he says that and kind of pulls out. Uh, the it pulls off the corkscrew that's on the table. You hear as the mm, lips are too dry. There we go. Uh, as he pulls the cork out, you hear the look as he pours the two glasses that were on the <clears throat> red heart-shaped nightstand uh, next to the bed, kind of full, and kind of walks over to you, still shirtless. His his slacks kind of like like riding his waist like on his pelvis uh showing his like midriff like his like waistline and everything just kind of like extends a hand and in it there are two glasses and extends the hand to you while in the other hand he has the bottle of wine she takes it she's not looking at him she is with the inside 30 year old she is Stressed and terrified. Pulls down, puts, puts down the bottle. Uh, actually, takes a sip of his wine, holds the glass out toward you, and is like, waits to see if you will cheers him. No. Yeah, figured. No. Takes a swigs the wine, like just shoots the wine in the glass, pours himself another glass, puts the bottle down next to you. You hear it go cook on the on the wood uh, next to you, and he just walks back to the chair he was sitting on, and kind of puts one arm behind the back and kind of just leans back, looks at you, and just waits for you to talk. kind of sip her wine notably her hands are kind of shaking you uh I owe you so you're welcome to ask me anything you want to know and I'll let you know if I can If you want, he kind of like looks toward the door. I can leave the wine with you and see myself out. You said your friend the reason you had to do such a thing. Why? Are you looking at him or? She's not looking at him. Go ahead and roll me a perception check in general. This will be your uh, your neutral perception without you actively looking for anything just so I can know where Whisper is in terms of like peripheral vision and stuff like that right now 
Six. Wouldn't that be... Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, this isn't a passive perception for if anyone was about to ask that, because she's currently in a stressed environment, and I want to roll to kind of define it. Uh, you don't see him nod, but he does, and realizing that you don't see him, he goes like, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Again. Sorry. Ask again. Why? Uh, <laughs> can you be a little bit more specific? I have just been exposed. <laughs> I'm going to need a little more of a reason as to why it happened. And I am terribly sorry about that, milady. But... Like I said, Yoshiki no Hazuma wants something to do with you. And whatever that reason is, could have been something similar that he wants with Haruki. And I need to know why you weren't going to tell me. I needed to know. I did what I needed to know to protect my friends. Again, it wasn't personal. Sorry it had to be done, but... <sighs> Makes sense, you know. Your kind is rare, regardless of how exotic these lands may be. Makes sense why he's keeping tabs on you. She swigs. She takes a swig of the wine. And just like heaves another sigh and buries her face in her hands. <sighs> this is bad. Ah, it's not so bad. This doesn't change anything, it just means more people are aware. She looks up at him. That's bad. The smile that's on his face is not left. That smug smirk. Not smug and like like being better than you, but like that that cheeky kind of like flirtatious sly smile. Like what? I thought you liked me. I was gonna find out one way or another. Let's just say we moved things along due to circumstances. I just <sighs> drinks more wine. <laughs> What'd you say? She drinks. Oh, more hold on, wine. audio cut up. Uh, what was that? She 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 drinks more wine, and she's just one way or another. Yes, I. Oh god, he's such a killing. I... Uh, honestly, both you and Dalron give Hazuma way too much credit. He's effective at his job, but he's stuck to his... He's also stuck to it. He can't just come after you. As long as you're a good little cadet, and... As long as he's a good little cadet, and you're a proper little citizen, he won't actually be able to do anything. And I'm gonna roll something for him. this has to do with your father. She just exhales. She what? She, she like exhales and puts her hands further, puts her face further in her hands. It has to do with the father. Alright, well. 
Oh, this is dry as fuck. Ah, I know it's a little late to say this, but do you want to talk about it, Whisper? She gives him a look that just says, are you fucking kidding me? He just smiles back. All right, all right. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. I promised I'd answer your questions. I'm sure you have some for me. It's only fair. Thank you, Soren. He does not know how to read the room. Yeah, he doesn't know how to read the room. Or maybe he just doesn't care. He should, he should care. Okay. Questions for it. I'm a little stressed out. I'm shaking. Shit. So do you in character or out of character? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Both of us are stressed out and shaking. Her for different reasons. You can ask him about the magic he used. You can ask him about, you know, who, who he is, what he is. You just... Think about things that both you as a player would be interested in, as well as, like, things that your character would be interested in finding out about Grey himself. Magic he used. How'd you learn? <laughs> like I said, you said how? Oh, sorry, above game. Did you, you said how did you learn it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, he like kind of like rolls his fingers, kind of like twirl, like yeah, twirls them out, like flares them. As every time he rolls a finger out, it's like little little wicks of cyan fire kind of like light up and poof out. Uh, it's... Blue Exorcist. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit like that. Yeah. A little bit like Blue Exorcist, I'm not gonna lie. Um, kind of flicks his fingers out and it's like, it, like I said, it's planar magic. Except not belonging to, uh... <sighs> well, fair turnabout's fair play. You showed me yours, I'll show... Well, I made you show me it. It's horizon magic. Roll me arcana. Or history. Arcana. Or history. Hell. Uh, bad rolls today. I'm surprised you don't have arcana proficiency. Um, you should have added it. I'll give it to you. Uh, you know, you've read like in your studies with Vincent, and you don't know much about them. You don't really know how they work, but you've heard of a particular type of uh, being uh, travelers. Uh, in D and D terms, he's a Horizon Walker. Uh, individuals who by choice or not, are thrusted into the planes to walk and watch and guard the the barriers between the different planes, whether it be the elemental planes, the astral planes, celestial, hells, all sorts. Uh, Horizon Walkers tend to live a life of protecting uh, the balance of nature and the world from aggressive forces of both good and evil though they all tend to specialize in particular fields of this kind of lifestyle or this kind of existence okay 
Now in my notes. Yeah, uh, when you like hear that. Horizon Mag when you hear Horizon Magic, that's what brings out to your You've heard term Horizon Walker, Horizon Guardian, Horizon Ranger, Planar Planar Ranger, uh, 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 Farscape Traveler, like Planescape uh, Traveler, that kind of all those kind of terms come to your mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna nod like that, like I see. I would appreciate you keeping that hush hush as well. My sort are also a rare breed, though, judging by your reaction, not also not by our own choosing. I'll keep your secret if you keep mine. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that works. There we go. Let's see. We're a little wisp, we're a little secret buddies now. <laughs> Who the fuck did the, did you just throw something across your room, Whisper? No, but um, my hand hurts now. I hit the table. <laughs> I hate this man. He's amazing, and I hate him. <laughs> Stupid, sexy gray. Stupid, sexy gray. <laughs> I so don't just... regret my choice. <laughs> Soren's voice echoes in your head. <laughs> I don't regret this. Ye fuck. Oh, so. I'm glad. Ah. Ah. Okay. Anyway, I thought you wouldn't want to be seeing me again. We have to try again, don't we? Maybe do some calisthenics this time. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. You're reminded of the cramp you caught earlier in the afternoon. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Look up to the sky. Fuck you, God. Anyway. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should make a whisper squeak counter, I agree. No. Anyway. But yeah, I um I say we I know a quiet spot in Ten Town. We can just get away from it all. And uh, it'll be a good place where you, me, Dar, and Harky can have a conversation on what to do next. Because your friend kind of fucked us, Whisper. And Daron's a good dude. Like, a really good dude. Like, pisses me off sometimes how good of a guy that guy is. But... He will go to the ends of the earth for that girl and for his friends, so I will do the same to him for him. Again, I am sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm sorry that I did it, but I'm not I'm sorry that I had to do it, but I'm not sorry that I did it. You can trust him though. And if you won't tell him I will. So keep your secret, I just need them to know what we're going through. Hell. <laughs> you almost didn't get your chance. And he kind of get flashes you another smile. Once again, she heaves a little bit. Well, no, this time it's like a light side. And she's like...
If I have to be told, then go. One more time. She leaves the light sign and she's like, I'll trust your judgment. Cool. Yeah. Nah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah, I bet. I bet. Any other questions you have for me, or shall we make our way downstairs? I'd offer you round two, but I don't think you're in the mood right now. She, her, the look on her face just says, you think? And then she goes... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I figured. So above game, uh, if you have any other questions you'd like to ask him, uh, yes. what brings me to these lands? Okay, asking character. Just one more question, stranger. Uh -huh. Yeah, troublemaker. <laughs> so what brought you to these lands? Dalaran Odorath. Takes a swig of his uh, takes like a deep sip of his wine. It's cute, but it's not specific. <laughs> He's like, I ask what I heard, how. Tell me your stories. <laughs> uh, kind of holds up his hand, like, let's not. I know we're moving really fast, Whisper, but let's not move too fast, alright? If you're asking. Roll me a persuasion check. Nobody understands my slang. Nice, 23. He will, like, think about it, just like... He was, he said what he said. He's like, yeah, let's not move too fast, shall we? Let's not make this boring. Let's get to know each other over time. Plus, if I told you more, you'll have to tell me. But, I will say this. Whether that man knows it or not, he saved my life in more than one way. And I intend to do the same. Hmm. And then nods again, taking note of this. Just clear as she writes in her notes. Um. Plus, I've got Ragna now, and Hariki is a door is fantastic to tease and make fun of, so honestly, I'm sitting pretty. Isn't that nice? She says, just kind of get clothes. Air clothing. Just Your clothing was put next to you uh, after the events, and do you, do you redress? Yes. Yes, he, I do. He watches you get dressed. <laughs> Perv. <laughs> Uh, what is Whisper wearing? What what articles of clothing does she wear? Uh, if you're doing the bones, careful, they're being picked up on the mic. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, mm -hmm. um, um, I sent this to you. I yeah, but for the for the people at home. Hello, people at home. <laughs> Hello, people at home. What are you doing here? Get out! Leave. <laughs> Bunch of strangers. Let me find it. Okay. 
hard to find the picture. So, Whisper wears a white. Whisper wears a white dress with like two slits in the side. Mm -hmm. And these sort of like mesh. Is that the word for it? They're thin. They're like thin black tights. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the uh, dress. How is it done up? Is it like on buckles? Is it like? Uh, like a corset, like on ties, like a, like ropes, threads, laces. There we go. That's the word, lace. What did I think of it? Damn it. <laughs> just pick one, because I just need to know how to flavor, how to roleplay this one scene, and then we'll uh, move on. Say, say like, um, say like on laces. Mm -hmm. She has the golden kind of golden slash that mm -hmm. she wears across her waist. As you start dressing up your uh, dress, and do you, as Grey watches you, do you turn your back to him, or do you make full-on eye contact with him as he watches you get dressed? I, 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 getting dressed, I will pay him no mind. <laughs> as you pay him no mind, you will hear a few footsteps away from you as uh, you feel his hands on your waist. Uh, as he starts doing up your dress and kind of pulling on the laces together, helping you get dressed. Thank you, Jerry. Ties the sash. He tightens your sash and runs his hand up your, uh, up your uh, side, kind of like up to your chest, and kind of kisses your head and be like, "No problem." Now, well, let's get out of here, Troublemaker. Otherwise, we'll be the ones being teased by those two, and... That's a dark day. <laughs> he kind of walks out the door. <laughs> also, uh, he pulls... Yeah, you see him kind of pull the belt off of another chair that he kind of, like, threw everything off when he was taking off your clothes in your earlier engagement. Um, and there's a... And he kind of just throws on that tunic, that linen tunic that he wears, kind of, like, open-chested... Uh, and the belt has like a number of daggers and knives on it. You can actually hear the equipment kind of shadowing. You even see like a couple of like little. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check, actually. Perception. Where's my character sheet? I keep losing this. Perception. 13. 13. Uh, yeah, he starts putting it on. You could tell that he puts on especially kind of like riding his pants a little lower for you just to be just more of like the flirtatious asshole that he is uh but he does buckle his belt and you notice that he does have like a number of knives and some files along the waist of, along the side of the hip of it uh kind of gears up and uh yeah puts on a tunic this very like loose fitted open wide uh kind of linen tunic and kind of opens the door and be like shall we Is she going out? She's like, we shall. He grabs his uh, dark green leather armors as well and kind of throws it over his shoulder and kind of starts, you guys start heading downstairs. And this is where we will cut back to the rest of the party. Hi, guys. Hello. Boy. Hi. Hello there. Oh, hello. Hello there. Hey. Actually, I'll ask right now, does everyone, is everyone good to keep going a little bit more or is this where we want to take a little break? I am good. I'm good. okay with you, Bert. I'm okay to keep going. Cool. We'll go for a little bit longer and take a break around 10 in like 20 minutes. Alright, you guys exit the uh, forest clearing and you guys stand in tent town. Maybe not proper, but you guys are back in civilization. Adios, you see the sea of tent, the expanse of tents before you. Uh everyone else you're kind of back but you're not exactly where you started off looking for him you're kind of closer to the main road unless if anyone had urgent business i would like to go back to the inn and rest yes uh, I can... uh, I would prefer not to go back to that place. Would you, 
My oh. if we met around the common area. Alright, we can always go talk about my tents. What's the sort in our tents? Or, uh, I don't know where they are. Alright, I can show you. Let us all stop by along the way then, so we know where to meet up next. Yes. Follow me. Can it follow us? Hi. I will go to the tents. Okay, you guys head over towards the tents. Um, what was that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head Correct, towards the tents. Just, to just to be clear. Uh huh. Uh, oh, okay. Nothing, nothing. I understand. Whisper, give me this. I check real quick. Um, yeah, that was for Whisper. That's for Whisper. So as you guys, uh, as you guys walk, yeah, you guys were back. To, uh, you don't know Whisper. As you guys reach the tents, uh, everything is as you were. In fact, the majority of you remember being here just the day before. You see the Frost Tusk family playing off towards the side. Uh, the kids are kind of like chasing each other around in the grass. Uh, Marwin is nowhere to be seen once again, but uh, Marva is sitting there, uh, kind of just cooking. She waves to you very similarly to the way she always has. Wave. Wave. Sorn will, Sorn will wave back, uh, Sorn will wave back before looking at the party and saying, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to do some reading. And he goes to his tent. Well, this is where I, we, us, three original people, met before, uh, you guys came along. Shall we all agree to meet back, uh, what time of day is it actually above game? Roll me about survival! I was about <laughs> to ask. Survival. Or investigation, I apologize, I should have said that first. Sorry, That's fine, 17. Yeah, uh, anyone, if anyone else wants to roll, roll, but at the moment, yeah, Elias, you don't know, but, uh, Garnet, uh, yeah, it is, it is about, like, 4.30 going into 5 at the time, at this time, it's the, yeah, actually, this is on me, apologies, yeah, it's about 4.30 going into 5, the sun has started setting already, the, you have, you're reaching the end of Golden Hour as you've, uh, arrived at the tents, you can see the sun kind of uh, shimmering off on the coastal horizon far off that you can't actually see from this distance, but the light kind of hits the, um... Well, actually, no. That's not... Alright, yeah. Actually, yeah, the sun will be behind the, the walls of the librarian, and the tents are actually cast in shadow now uh, as you guys step forth as the sun continues to set. I feel like it would be wise if we met up here again in a, in a couple of hours to plan all of us together so that we may plan what we will do next. I agree. Um, we will wait. Um... See you in a little while. And uh, Garnet shall make to head back to the Grand Army. Okay. Garnet, yeah, you pick up and just turn around and you start making your way towards the friendly arm Is anyone else going with Garnet or do they have things oh, that they Lias, want to do? Yes. Lias huh? would like to go. Do you hear the clanking of chain mail as it walks behind you, Garnet? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, she's not going to be like surprised by that or anything. She'll walk with uh, Elias back to the inn. Lorelai, what are you doing? Most of my stuff is at the end, so my gut is to go back with them, but if Soren has gone to, did Soren go into his tent to go to bed, or is just hanging out in his tent? He he says in the movie to do some reading, and then he went to his tent. Okay. Uh, Ella is gonna gonna hang back and just sit with 
an Arias. Mm, okay. I was just going to say that Arias will look for a place to sit down. Perfect. There's, um, as you guys look around the tent site, you might recall this from last time, uh, but you see, um, there's a little bit of like a cooking, like a mess kit set up. It's nothing serious or major. It's just like a pot over a pan and a couple of like, a couple of like, um, skewers and maybe like a small, like, metal rack. Um, and a few, like, trunks of tree have been cut and made into stools by what you can assume was Elias, Whisper, and Soren. Soren is currently in his tent, you can hear him softly rustling through his belongings, but, um, yeah, Adios, you sit down at one of these stumps and you notice that Lorelai kind of walks next to you and sits, uh, at one close by as well. As, uh, Garnet and Elias kind of step away and walk toward the friendly arm. So it's just the two of us, yes? Uh, the two of you with Sorn in a tent. Uh, uh, yes. Right. Hmm. We are alone, alone. But Sorn is um, just hanging out by himself in his tent. Soren, would you like to tell the class, or the teacher, uh, what it is that you are doing or reading in the tent? You can DM it to me if you want to. Cool, 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 cool. Sounds good. In the meantime, Lorelai, Arias, what are you doing? Is the ship coming true? <laughs> Jesus, you, Wow. <laughs> Bap. That fucker. Bap on the bap upside the head. That's fair. That's fair. I deserve that. Bonk. So. Oh, like. Yes. Yes. I think. I don't know if I told you, but thank you very much. You have helped me more than more than you know. Picked up the the wrist that has the friendship bracelet. Let's do. Hmm. I. Yes, I. I guess you are right. Hmm. Have, have you? Why? Why did you come? Here. The Fine. flashbacks of Dinnereth turning around and being like, "The fuck did you say to me?" When you asked that question, ring into your ring in your ears for but a moment. Oh, damn it! I forgot I said that. No, it's fine. I'm just teasing you. I like it. I like it. Play it. Play into your character's weakness. Like you uh, into the yeah. Just keep doing. It. Sorry, I didn't. I shouldn't have interrupted. Keep going. I like this. Did you come here looking for something? Knowledge mm. to help give back to to help give back to Candlekeep to get back. Mm. Why why do you want to get back? Give back. Because Candlekeep gave so much to help um, keep me. Oh. Huh. 
I wish I knew what that felt. Maybe I do. Hmm. Awkward silence. I'm just imagining Adi as being like, I should have been a wizard. I should know magic. I should not take class. <laughs> Then Hi, Arias will stay. Ah. Sorry, I was gonna. You continue, go ahead. No, please, go ahead. It was if you did nothing, I would remain silent. BB, go. Yes, also, as a change of pace, the candle keep, all I basically ever did was read, and the only time I got to to make something of my own was when I took care of the, the orchard and the gardens. Mm. I see. Hmm. I can't imagine what it would have been like. Some odd years, the, the walls get a little dim. Sorry, could you repeat that? You cut off for me. Sorry, um, well, when you're staring at anything for 50 some odd years, it gets a little dim. Hmm. I. I see. Adis, if you'd like, and with your standing, you can roll me a history check to know to see if you know anything of Candlekeep. Yeah, yeah, I would love to. No, <laughs> a four. Ah, cool, a castle, like a, f a keep, a fortress. She lived and studied okay. in a fortress. Good to know. She must have seen many great battles, this warrior Lorelei. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I forgot what I, what I was going to say. Hmm. Good. Fuck, I tried to help and I made it worse. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I guess in that case, Arias will just stay silent. Or, actually, what, what would you do? What would you do? Or what did you do to change, to change your, your life? To start, the first thing I did was be the tribute from my tribe to pass on knowledge to Campbell Keep. And then the second thing was coming here. So, hmm. I mean, here was a way. Interesting. Soren, are you listening to this, by the way, or are you engrossed in your reading? Mm, Soren. Sorry, no. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? My Wi-Fi died. Oh shit. Uh, I asked if you are listening in on this, or are you fully engrossed in your reading? I guess Soren will, like, occasionally listen in. Okay, go ahead and roll me a perception check. It's not that interesting of a comp- 
It's a bit of backstory. Yeah, well, that's true, actually. Five. Uh, eh, you get like every, yeah, you, know, you get every word once in a while, but you're not actually paying attention to it. Uh, go ahead and roll me an investigation check, and you guys can continue talking. No. Arias has nothing else to ask. For now. Well, shit. Would you look at that hot tamale? Soren, do you want this information to be given to you in private? Okay, I'll give it to you after the break, or during the break, actually. Lorelai, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, uh, no. Not really. Just lean back and relax. And if there's nothing to lean against, I'll sit on the ground and lean against the log. If there's nothing to lean against, I'll put my face in the dirt. Alrighty. Well, in that case, uh, seeing as it's close time, uh, I'm gonna call a nice five, ten minute break here, everyone. Yeah. It's break time. It's break. I'll be back in a bit. Maybe. Just to be Same clear. Be more. Uh huh? Uh, just to be clear, I have more questions. Just. No, not for the moment. Huh? Huh. But hello, chat. Is hey, anyone? chat. Hello, hello. Open pitch. <laughs> yeah, I I'm really bad at this, but I keep forgetting to take us off pre-show when I start the game. Uh, but now we're on break, so I'm gonna go use the restroom, and I'll be. Hey. I can't hear you, I, I, Captain. I, Captain. I, Captain. I. Zog, zog. Hey, chat, how you doing? Twitch, you betrayed me. You <laughs> stopped loading. Oh. I wonder what what happened to Whisper. I wonder. We can tell what happened in the most part. Uh huh. What, what I want to know is why the heck flames were involved. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll find out someday. Maybe. Maybe. So you were playing Stardew Valley um, a while ago. Why not yes, stream? But... Why have you abandoned that the, the path? I didn't necessarily abandoned the path of streaming. I just wanted to see if it was for me, and no, I I don't think it is. I'd rather just stream within uh, Discord chats with my friends. Oh, great. This really is. Ah, Twitch has loaded again. There is more of... Uh, Please don't die. We need you. Don't die. Uh, be back. Be back.
So Dakota is not here, is he? No. Oh well. But I I want to tell him that I I've, I've been watching the uh, the cloud cuckoo. Cuckoo cloud. Cuckoo. Yeah, his friends' uh, videos and I found them great. <laughs> I'm funny. It's most to most uh, to tell him that his efforts have paid and well his promotions. <laughs> Fill the void. Scared of silence. Might so bad. Hello. Hello there. You say you said you're afraid of science. Mm, silence with an L in the middle. Yeah. Oh, silos. Oh. I'm back. Why are you scared? Oh, I love science. Why are you Hello. scared of silos? <laughs> Uh, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. Stop, please, please, no. I'm sorry. Why sorry. did you? What? Why did you have to make it phallic? <laughs> Why? Uh, Why? Because anything's Freudian if you think hard enough. Oh. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, Jesus, 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 how, how did I, how did the server end up with so many people belonging in the jail? In horny jail? Well, I'll tell you how, because some of us say a, like a few things, and some of us, the rest, multiply that thing very, very much so in a certain direction. Yes, I, I know too well. I, uh, <laughs> I, I am a, I, I do football with a bunch of boys, so I know how it feels. Football with the boys. Football's for boys. <laughs> tricks are for the kids. Boys. No, they're tricks are for kids. No, they're not. They're delicious. Uh, I've never had them actually. Oh, they're so good. I don't really see them in stores that much, but the oh, mm, mm, mm. it's the thing with the, like colorful cereals. I, I I find them like it's worse than like the energy drinks, Gatorade and stuff. Like why why is it colored? It's it's oh. Uh... <laughs> Sure. If you add sugar on top of it, like you do with rice Krispies. are diabetes for kids. What's happening? You know, I, I ate like the gravy with with sugar, and I found that very very sweet. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Well, you put sugar on it, so I can expect it would be sweet. Yes. No, but like, not even a spoonful, and. Um, like, that was too much for me, so... Tricks! I... Oh, tricks! Well, I tricks. cannot deal with uh, an over amount of sweet or sour things. Can I, you I, eat? Uh, I'm a fifty when it comes to spicy food, so... I, uh, <laughs> I don't put sugar in it, so not even... Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Train has the white man palate. You guys put sugar in your cereals? It's so weird. Uh, dude, a lot if, you, if, you get, if you have if you have Cheerios, you put straw, cut up strawberries and sugar in it. It's mm, mm. America, mm. America. That is my Here's food. to your health. Nice. Just drink. Quite it. a healthy individual. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You. <laughs> You want? <laughs> Sorry, 
I already know what you're gonna say is bad, so just say it. Not really, it's just a, a really funny coincidence. I was what? I was checking, I was, I was checking out uh, messages in Ezra Ryman, and <laughs> this this guy said I just laid back, back slightly twisted my tires, my tires by snap crackled and popped. <laughs> <laughs> We were nice. talking about cereal. <laughs> you got lucky, but before <laughs> saying something funny, think of who you're with and if you want that to be lewd or not. Whisper spy snap crackled and popped. Oh. <laughs> thank, thank you, Arise, for being for being part of the problem. <laughs> I have not Didn't you know this is horny joke? <laughs> You'll never know how you got here. Well, you don't get there. You are born there. No, no, no. So you never know how you get there, but you know why you can't leave. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's Precisely. the way. You never know how you got there, but you always know how you came there. No. Cut up, Dalaran, please. Lude. 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 Mine was better. Two on the nose, Dalaran. Two on the nose. Don't Don't. Undertale. How dare you? So yeah, chat, this is the kind of uh, riveting conversation you can expect uh, both pre-game, uh, uh, during the breaks, and in the after time. We're into it. <laughs> <laughs> stop, we, stop, we're gonna get clean and keep doing that. Only here <laughs> on the Dalaran Quest Twitch. Just blasts Megalovania right now on YouTube. Posted a uh, TikTok of like I'm like I don't really do TikTok but sure I'll watch it and, and like he added he added me like arrowed up I'm like sure why not and it's this guy playing a trombone just like doing like a pep band song and it just turned into blasting Megalovania I'm like yeah so I'm in Jasmine we're doing Megalovania and I like the song I approve yes I'm gonna do all of Megalovania is actually a good song dude Megalovania hurts my lips so much to play. It's like, like, three lines above the bass <laughs> cleft line on a trombone. It hurts sometimes. I want you to know that I chose not to go for low hanging fruit train. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. See, this is why. This is why we... Dal, Dal, you have no right to say that considering some of the jokes you made in this session alone. You don't get to say that. Read your book, nerd. Oh, what's he that? <laughs> Read your book, nerd. Yeah, and don't tell us what it is that you're reading. Yes, jeez, yeah, mm -hmm. be, be a mysterious character. Yeah. God opened up his guy and said, read your book, fucking nerd. <laughs> Soren's Dark Knight arc. Rogue with the <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> freaking, freaking Soren and... Freaking Soren in a in a Batman suit, but no one but no one takes him seriously because of his, because of how feminine he looks. Like, oh my Dim god, legs. that was so funny. Left. Guys, check out the memes. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. The funny thing is, I can actually see like a Secretary Bird Batman villain. I can actually, yeah. I mean, I can. I mean, look. Yeah. Look, when, when one of the canonical Batman villain lines up is Condiment Man, I'm pretty sure it's like anything can go. I'm sorry, what? I'm do sorry. You, oh, do you not know of the great be, and terrible Condiment you know, Man? You don't know Condiment you mean Condiment King. Condiment King. Yeah, I was about to say, you oh. mean Condiment King? Condiment King, there we go. Comic book characters, right? Ah, I'm really glad we made that distinction. I'm just, I'm really glad we clarified that key detail. <laughs> he was in the Harley Quinn show. Stop kidding. Yeah, it's like t it's tomato sauce and mustard everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I mean, nah. Tight Man, I mean, Tight Man, enough said. Mm. Dude, Tight Man's the best man. Tight Man? I'm pretty sure. I'm it's pretty the dwarf with the kite in his back. Oh no, how dangerous. He will destroy the world. You know, Tight Man. 
if it wasn't for the Lego Batman movie, I never would have heard of Condiment King. Yeah. Lego Batman taught me a lot. It was a great mm. movie. <laughs> be, be ready with the long range stun stun rifles. Yay, non lethal! <laughs> Yay, non lethal! It's like, no! They, all the lethal! And they actually <laughs> and they actually say the word Q when they shoot their guns. <laughs> oh, dude, um, right back. You, 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 you ever heard like all the Star Wars actors that keep making the sound effects like the lightning and stuff because it's just so fun to do? Yeah. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Also in that same movie, when he summons all of the other villains and, and Sauron is like, you know, we should burn the city, turn up around! I was like, whoa, 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 hey, man, that's a little extreme. Uh, look, just, how about just some lava, okay? Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need like to watch that movie like, again. Uh, like, wait, lava's not gonna burn the city down. No, 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 it, it, no, wait, no, that's not the line, that's not the line. Uh, he, it's like, uh, run the so river with your, like, run the streets with your blood, but it said, he's like, never just yeah, yeah. Cool, little ah, extreme. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the point, the, the main point of it is that Joker has to tell Sauron to chill when he listens to him. <laughs> no. We passed that. <laughs> I will get my trombone out. I will get my jazz the evil trombone and start playing with it right now. No. No. You do not have the mic quality trained. I don't have the mic quality. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I fueled up on apple and nuts. I had nice, <laughs> I had, I had nice tap water. Nuts, tap, oh. nuts, in November. Yeah, you forgot to send me the thing in the end. God, you didn't do the God thing. Oh, I was supposed to ask God another thing. I forgot. Thank God is dead. And we killed him. Cool, riot. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I'll be your next god, so, um... Oh, fuck no, I'll be the god. Do I get god. to bring in V? Yes, bring V. Uh, so, Nivrana's dead by a squirrel. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, let's I, just, uh... let's just, uh, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 this and all fight for the right to be the next god. <laughs> I am your god now. Would like my decanter of endless alcohol, please? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Foolish mortals, go rip yourselves asunder. I will, now you won't have a game back. It'll just be us. <laughs> well, I'll be dead you have no game. Uh, alright, so <laughs> I need to answer messages. Yeah. Okay, so we're taking a moment to do that, then we're getting back in? Yeah. Okay. We'll be starting in two minutes. ba da ba ba Da, 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 da. Ba, da, ba, ba. Stop. I can't da, help da, it. Da, I have da, to finish. Da, da, you can finish da, it after the stream. Train, we'll, da, da, we'll open da. with that. Also, Wisp, you have, uh, if you have a question, now it's time to ask. I had a question. I forgot it. This is why we write things down. Told. <laughs> 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 you should, uh, you should clear, clear your throat there. Sound a little. Allergies? Yeah, allergies, Whisper? I oh, know. Is Whisper allergic to the truth? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You sassy motherfucker. <laughs> Vodka slice has been consumed. I should have added more basil. I didn't think about that. Bye. Cinnamon ginger Burger. cider has been consumed. I have a right. glass full of mango water. Good. That's a very good time. Yeah. Very good. Look at you. you uh, oh, right. So you. Oh, okay. Uh, you rolled really well. Soren, so high or low? Low, low, low. Ooh, no. Uh, Aww. Aww. Come on. Hi, it's a kite. I just hurt my ankle again. Not again. 
It's the fourth time this year. Stop. <laughs> Stop hurting yourself. Stop it. Stop. Stop, Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Get some help. Stop it. Oh. Get some help. Get some help. No. <laughs> That's why I have enough leg strainer to help me. But I bop bop. No. Uh, so is like, are we have we started the session again, or I'm confused? No, no, just gotta get some more details. No, no. I would have queued us all in if I did. Okay, okay. Because I muted myself when you're like, okay, Soren rolled highs. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, my, no, 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 no worries. I misinterpreted. <gasps> Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I deny the. If I stop laughing, I'll die. <laughs> that sounds Lefters, awful. Best lefters. <laughs> it's like Ryan said, a <laughs> movie where like the guy's like, slow the day to walk down the road. If I ever stop singing, I will explode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steven. What have you done? <laughs> you done? I love the ASDF movie. Sounds like a good time. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I like trains. That's the best one. I'll be right back. Oh, and, oh, he likes, oh, he likes you. Now, son, don't touch that cat. Now, son, don't touch that cat. I will, I have to catch this. To see if it stings. Everything can be rationalized. You stink. Oh. <laughs> You're beep, mean! Beep, I'm sheep. I said beep, beep, I'm sheep. Ah, furries. That's fucking... Oh. <laughs> what? Lucas, you sounded so sad. <laughs> Why? No. You want to piece of me? Yeah? Well, you go then. Furries. I'm sad Generic is not here. I wanted to laugh at him. He might be here. <laughs> he might be in chat. You don't know. You wanted to laugh no, at him? <laughs> you weren't there? <laughs> uh, Quick, see. don't think about cats. Huh? Quick, don't think about cats. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> but I have a cat. I have 13 cats. Oh no. I used to have two, but the other one's going to California. I used to have oh. 21, but they all went away. Oh. Why do you have 13, though? Like, 21, it's, it's absurd, but 13 is still very, very, very high. Because we had four female cats, and they all got pregnant the day before we neutered them. Oh. oh. Was it by the same male cat? No. <laughs> that absolute player. Two, we had two male cats, so one for each, uh, two for each. Damn. The scandal. And then, and then when the, the babies grew up, our neighbor's cat got another one pregnant, so yeah. Oh, okay. So um, damn. I, I come back, and the words I hear, and got another one pregnant, and it's like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> Making babies left and right. <laughs> You were talking about the story of how I had 21 cats at one time. Wow. Throw your hands up your and hands. raise them to the sky! Anyway, you guys ready to start? Hey. You. Me. I was ready. Hey. <laughs> Soren, as you write through the page, and as Adius and... Uh, as Adius and Lorelai speak, you guys hear the occasional, like, flip of a page or rustling of paper. Uh, Lorelai, you probably would be more acquainted to this, maybe even the unfurling of a scroll. Um, and you guys respectively spend your time kind of decompressing after this, the mornings and afternoons events. Uh, Elias and Garnet, you have now stepped away from the tents and you're making your way together through uh, the ever-thickening and denseness of tents as you guys head toward 
Well, where are you guys? First of all, where are you guys headed to? Uh, to the um, friendly. Yeah, the friendly arm in because aside from resting and recuperating, Garden needs to get her room key back. All right. Yes. Uh, could I roll insight on Garnet to uh, determine her talk, like her talking mood? Since last time she was a little, uh, like... can uh, can Elias insight you to vibe check? You, you wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have to roll for this. You know that you know Garnet is amenable to conversation. Mm -hmm. As to what the conversation is about, now that's another story. But you know, yes, bro. Uh... Back in the mm -hmm. woods, you uh, you mentioned you wanted to find something here. Yes. I suppose you would I... like to know. I suppose yes. you would like to know more about that. Oh, I would love to. Alas, there is not much that I can say because I do not know much myself. Only that there are energies here that are very, very old. Of the primordial. It, they, they, or it, whatever it is, has drawn me here somehow. Mm. There is mm. not much else that I can say about it at this time. You want to find something about it. How are you um, looking into it? I would love to help if I could. I mean no disrespect, but I do not think that it is within your ability to. It is about looking inwards, and you can sort of see that Garnet sort of, uh, with her expression, sort of like uh, trying to find the words, almost as if she's translating in her own mind to say something in common. Not, not exactly to that effect, but you know, to find the right wording. To so find something within yourself, yes. If anything, having someone, having someone else to help would be indeed useful in that particular way, but the only other person I immediately know, well, he, he is... He is what? He seems to have a lot going on himself, Soren. Mm. He is a tricky one. To say the least. And she'll sort of just like, you know, keep walking. Oh, and after a little bit though, she might say, Oh, I actually had a question. Yes. Why did you adopt that? And she, uh, see, uh, she, she'll try and like see if uh, she can sort of like spy Nirvana and uh, point towards it. Point towards it. Is, is Nevada visible, I should have asked? I have no idea, God. Uh, yeah. Uh, she... Uh, was, uh, you told me that she lies on your shoulder, so... Yes. Okay. Yeah, so oh. you kind of like, wanted to know about like, Why did you adopt that? Well... It's... It reminds me... Of... The, the young. It's... Kind of complicated. We, we on tease love snakes. We have... We speak partially their language, not really though. We can we can feel each other's thoughts, kind of weird. But this Nirvana here, um, she was baby, and uh, and I assume the snake, the biggest snake we found her around, was a uh, parent or uh, something close to her. And, this snake can't survive on its own. It's too young. Oh, wait. With what you said before, do you mean to say that you were like that when you were young? <laughs> no, not really. But, um... I've seen others in this position. Well, I hope that you are good company for each other at the very least. keeps walking it's yeah, it's, it, hmm. yeah this conversation I, I suppose easy enough to think that you know we're just talking about this as we're walking mm -hmm. 
You haven't had a... Well, I'm, I'm just gonna... Assume. Have you ever had a pet? Cat? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like it does a... Kind of just like, you know, just looks to you, just very plainly says... No. Racist. Hey. No, not that. It's like, okay, it's like, you know... It's like, you know... <laughs> I ha I'd have to assume it's a, it's like you know asking a human, "Have you ever had a pet monkey?" <laughs> That's basically monkey. the equivalent. <laughs> monkey. Return to monkey. So, so yeah, she simply says no. Hmm. I have heard pets bring out the best of people. Maybe it can help you in your life. Try more your pets. It would have to be a very extraordinary pet, then, to do that. Fucking like really. adopts an e freed or some shit <laughs> like that. I mean, he's talking about a pet that's supposed to help Ghana on her meditations. It's like, wow. How enlightened would this animal have to be? Ah, have you considered adopting the Mind Flayer tadpole? Clear your mind of all self-thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I lost my maternity spot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, pets are special by how you make it special. How it makes connections with you. And you have like pets, Nirvana. You know, they, they might not help you directly, but they do help. Kind of sort of like ponders on this for a moment and then just sort of perks up and says, But I did like those chickens that we met out in the wilderness. Elias thinks back to the, 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 the chicken that stole his bed. <laughs> kind of just sort of like, you know, softly <laughs> smiling, thinking, like, ah, oh, that was a good time. There is a wild chicken roost somewhere in the forest or in the hills, and that your bedroll is still a part of to this day. <laughs> part of its nest. Yeah. And I guess at that point we just, you know, we just continue, we continue on. Alright, as you continue walking, whisper. Me. You. You're Hi. walking down the stairs. Hi, you're walking down the stairs with uh, Gray. Hey. Is there anything you guys are talking about? Uh, if he engages her in idle conversation, that's fine. She still looks a little stressed out. No, he's just walking. There's a, there's a palpable silence between the two of you. Oh, she looks stressed. She still kind of looks stressed out. She's trying to compose herself. A bit. But she... Like... How do I say this? She's composing herself. She still looks like a little stressed out. You know, if you overthink these things, they're going to see it. <clears throat> you know that, right? Gray turns some fucking... It, Gray just turns into Dandy Man from Hell. like, hey, don't worry about it, man. Jeez. It's just like... I know. It's just... Kind of stops and turns around to you, kind of looks back, like, left and right and kind of past you to see if there's anyone around and kind of adjusts his head, like, it's just what? It's been a time. It has always been a time. If... Also, I haven't seen myself like that in quite some time. His eyes kind of grow wide for a moment, and he just... Oh. Is that right? I'm not supposed to drop far. Says your dad. 
she nods. Kind of scratches his beard. Oh boy. Oh, that's what I get for fucking a nobleman's daughter. She kind of dresses like that. Yeah, see, there you go. You're smiling. That's better. Plus, you got to fuck me, so it's not all bad. Kind of turns around and continues walking. Wow. <laughs> Fucking Dakota. Dakota breaking mute to just hit a. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're saying as he turns around and continues walking? You know, she's just like, oh, that is a plus. <laughs> she keeps walking with him. There we go. Oh, that's the attitude. There we go. That's the attitude. And, and seeing that you're in higher spirits, you kind of joke and be like, and let's just have a chat with the guys and we can relax and hang out. And if you want to talk more, well, I wouldn't be down. I wouldn't be against getting another room together. I can ah. hear the people talking outside the friendly arm in. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Why you shake? It's, it's just stupid, sexy gray. Um, <laughs> stupid, sexy gray. That is the yep. I'm Smug, making that Smug, sexy gray. Now. <laughs> and as you, is there anything else you want to talk about, or before you guys get to Dalla Runner Harky? Nope. She's just she is now composed. All right. As you guys, she fixes her hair you. a bit though. I'd offer to help it. I'd probably only make it worse. Wait, can't you just- and he kind of like does this look hand thingy about your hair? It's not him. Well, yes, but that's in fun. And... Fixing your hair is- you know what? I don't care. And he just keeps walking. I just want him to turn around and her hair is fine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it probably does happen. I think it turns out. Ah, well, eventually you guys exit down to the foyer, and I was going to be mean and be like Hazen was there, but no, no, you're 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 already shaking. I've been through enough. You've been through enough. You've been through enough. My weary soul rest. <laughs> yeah, she still has to go through having a conversation with Garnet soon. Oh, ho, ho. oh no, uh -huh. Hazen. Yeah. You're a hippie yeah. now. You don't count okay. Elias, but Garnet's Garnet's another story. I wonder how she'll react with Lorelai. <laughs> Everyone has shit they want to run whisper through. <laughs> <laughs> and as you guys reach downstairs, you enter the foyer. Uh, it's starting to get late into the evening, so the foyer is actually starting to get busy. But uh, let you know, less to not be said about dedication. Uh, Dalaran and Har- Halaran and Daraki. <laughs> They've been here the entire time. Halaran and Daraki are still in. sitting at their table, just like chatting, kind of. Harky has a book out uh, that she seems to be reading, a really big tome. Dalaran himself seems to be um, <clears throat> flipping through a book smaller than hers, but nonetheless, I'm kind of reading. They have a couple of candles on their table. Shall we? She looks at him and like nods. Cool. Oh, Just wait. don't worry about it. You're amongst friends. Though I'm surprised you haven't talked to me about Arius, and he just continues walking forward. What? <laughs> he mentioned that before. Did he? Well, mm -hmm. no, he did say that he fucked him. That's true. What? I can only handle so much stress. <laughs> yeah, and knowing that you might have someone in your group that betrays you, it's the worst. What? Yeah, probably should have talked to me about that. Dalaran, Haruki, hey! Mm -hmm. 
dot on Arky pipe up, uh, pipe perk up as uh, he says that. Turn around, they kind of give you a smile and wave. And Donna's like, "Ah, oh, you guys done already?" Arky just turns and looks to the rest of you. Like, "Oh, are you? Yeah, are you two done?" Silence. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying not to throw the just. Yep. <laughs> no, I don't want to throw that at them, but I kind of do. <laughs> I'm sure <it's... laughs> These two fuckers. No, it's kind of shreds. <laughs> well, are you just gonna stand around or are you gonna join us? Uh, join them. Cool. Uh, Gray uh, almost sarcastically pulls out a chair for you and goes, My lady. She kind of rolls her eyes back. Kind of sits down, kind of leans over, and Dalron looks at him, and he just leans over toward him and just nods and is like, Yeah, she's cool. Don't worry about it. Kind of nods. Well, uh, you guys are back already. I assume Gray told you that things may be a little bit difficult after last night's events. Vague, but yes. Hmm. Well. I am happy to hear that he says everything's going to be alright. And Grey just nods slowly and then looks at you like directly to your eyes, like seriously. I see. Yeah. We should enjoy our dinner here like we always do, and uh, perhaps whisper you'll join us on a walk around Tent Town later tonight. Yeah, I was thinking we can show her a nice spot, you know, so we can just enjoy conversation all together. And Darwin just nods as well, then it's settled. We will enjoy an evening together as friends! And Haruki just nods and everyone just nods. Kareem just looks up. Yeah, I bet you are. Anyway. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to go for the low-hanging food for Kareem. And... Yeah. Uh, do you do anything with the trio here? Or uh, any questions? Insights? Foods? This is... This is... Um, general mood insight, of course. <laughs> And then just, just hang out with these people for a while. Cool, oh, yeah, go ahead. Ten. Ten. Uh, Harky seems uncomfortable at this conversation, and Dalron seems to be cheery but focused. Cheerily focused. Tight. Okay. Focusedly well, cheery. Focusedly cheery. Well, try to leave. just hang out and chill for cool. a while. Do you have any questions uh, for them while you hang out and talk? Or just casual conversations? Just casual conversations. My questions will come later. Cool. Go ahead and roll me a... Uh, what would this be? I guess persuasion? Persuasion? That's performance. Eight. Eight. What am I okay. persuading them into? Nothing. Just a general. It was, it was going to be a general charisma check for you to like, just to see how your conversation goes. Alrighty. Okay. And as you guys sit and chat, Garnet and Elias, you guys reach the doors of the <clears throat> friendly army. <clears throat> that was a bad sound. Sorry. Garnet quickly makes sure that this is uh, to make herself reasonably presentable because she's still slightly roughed up looking uh, mm -hmm. before she steps on inside. Well, I suggest his armor bit. He goes inside as well. Yeah, you guys open the doors. You throw open the doors to the friendly arm in, 
And as always, you are met with a familiar sensation of warmth. Excuse me. Of warmth and the smell of food and the sounds of chatter uh, in the large open foyer of the friendly armin. Ganon is is immediately going into detect whisper mode. Uh, you can go ahead and roll me perception at this at, with advantage. Elias, are you looking for anything else? I will help. Well, uh, I will help assist with finding whisper. That is a 19. Plus whatever Elias' perception Plus is. One. Yes. The 20, yes, that's 20. 20. It doesn't take you long. You see almost like expecting it. You look toward to your right toward the uh, area where Dalaran, Harky, and Grey were before. And uh, yeah, you see them easily spotted with by their large white direwolf that accompanies them. Whisper sitting in their company, kind of uh, across from Haraki between Grey and Dalaran. Cool. Uh, Garnet shall make her way over, and when she comes into earshot, she will basically just be, uh, you know, softly calling out, Whisper! Whisper! She looks over. Garnet! We are back, Garnet. and we have good news. Are you still walking towards the table? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, whenever it's, like, the DM deems appropriate, she'd just walk in, walk up and, like, you know, be... Yeah, basically, up. Garnet would, like, speed walk toward you when she's, like, 20 feet yes. away from you. She would call out for you by the time <laughs> she would approach the table. Yes, hence the earshot. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, she well, yeah, walks up to you completely. It's like, you know, basically saying, you know, we have good news. Arias is alive. He is okay. The table says. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. <laughs> and oh, you are okay too. That is good. Was she not okay before? <laughs> no, <laughs> her chest was very, very small. Yeah, hard to believe. This is quite hard to believe. Gray cocks an eyebrow to toward you, Elias, and then looks to you, Whisper, and looks to Elias. I, I would like to insight that. Elias. I would like to insight that. She looks just as confused as he does. Like you go ahead. Go ahead. Insight, insight Gray as well. Yeah, go ahead. Insight, I want to insight Gray for that look. Yep. 18. 14. Both Dalaran <laughs> and both Dalaran and Gray took what Elias said as if he has like seen Whisper naked, or like oh my God. has been like especially Jesus Gray's Christ. like. When you said that, because Gray was like, yeah, you're like, it's hard to, like, when you're like, I heard your whisper was very, your chest is very small, he's like, yeah, hard to believe that. And then Eli's like, yeah, that is hard to believe. He's just like, what? what? Both him and Dalaran look to you, are like, what? Hmm? <laughs> whisper also looks confused. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyes is looking confused. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah Garnet in the confused thing goes on saying, well, yes, there was the pendant that made her chest very, very small, which is why she had to stay in my room for a while. Ah. Uh, well, I, I, I just finally clicks, like, something about a pendant and magic. Her chest will fall out of that candy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, <laughs> you know, she needed to, I, I offered her my bed so she could recover. Mm. Mm -hmm. That explained why you were, um, not coming to find Arias. I just, the moment Garnet explains <laughs> what happened with the pendant, Whisper is just like, ah, god damn it. <laughs> Grid just chuckles. Yes, is well. Is everything alright, Whisper? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You're gonna just ask Whisper if everything is alright. Yeah, so everything's fine. Insight! <laughs> uh huh. I would like to insert Soft well. 20. <laughs> 13. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot. Oh. I mean, I presumed it was a... Uh, oh, 
I presumed I that it so would be close. given, but I forgot to ask for permission. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's you guys have agreed it between the two yourself. I didn't hear any opposition. You're all fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you guys whisper? What do they? What do they tell? She's fine. There might be. That's a lie. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, so wait, that's wait, a lie. Mr. T okay, Mr. TM, I feel like this is in your hands because we can't no. rely on Whisper the Whisper the player to give <laughs> a meaningful me difference. Okay, okay. There's slight you can tell that there is like a slight there's anxiety there's slight anxiety behind her words, but she's okay. <laughs> that is what but just you okay. pick up uh Elias Garnet, you get the sense that she is Bless that okay. She's definitely feeling anxious and uncomfortable. You can actually see her kind of like running her fingers, uh, like her thumb between her fingers. Whisper, and Garnet shall get down onto her knees and actually uh, take uh, her hands into her paws and say, Clearly something is troubling you, so. It wasn't what I said, was it? No, nothing you said. No, dear. It's nothing you need to be concerned about. Well, that is too late because I am concerned about you. Huh. It's very kind of you, dear, but I'm fine. You are not fine. Once again, you are lying. God damn. It's <laughs> <laughs> waiting for Wiz to be like, bitch, I'm fine as fuck. <laughs> she will remove her hands from your hands and they like seriously I'm fine Yannet's eyes will sort of just narrow a little bit and uh, she'll say in a slightly more serious tone I forgive you for lying to me before, but it is really not nice to lie to your friends. With your insight right now, I'll say she doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, and yes, and I was going to say, like, you know, all you have to do is simply say that you do not want to talk about it. Do you not want to talk about it? No, <laughs> I don't. I feel like I'm being lectured. Well, I suppose we could always talk about something else. What did you get up to while we were gone? Uh, Elias said, while, you, while this is happening, Grey just kicks a chair over toward your direction, just like, sit. I'll sit. And Garnet will, if she can, she will herself find a, uh, a seat to sit on. No, no cats allowed. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why my arm, my right arm is just shaking and chilled. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you're nervous. No, I don't. I don't know what's happening in my heart. Wait, are you actually, are you actually like, not okay right now? Uh, I'm fine. I'm not, there's no pain. It's just weird. It's your nerves. It was, it was like that time when my arms were like floated out in space, like for no reason. I didn't even no control. It just felt like there was no gravity. It's just happening again. Whoa. Oh, it's because you have magic arm, bro. Because you have magic arm, bro. Someone's casting mage armor on my hand. Mage armor. <laughs> like, Hold on, I don't. Alright, back to your play. Sorry. Oops. Anyway. So did you get up to much while we were gone, Whisper? <laughs> I want- you hear Grey chuckle, and if you want you can roll an inside check on the table. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's keep these insight rolls going. The cat is here and she's yes. curious. Yes. Fourteen. Hey, we kind of traded. Uh, Carnet, uh, you, uh... You, uh... <laughs> Garnet, you see that Haruki blushes a little bit and Dalron looks away uncomfortably while Grey chuckles to himself. Elias, you see this too. But then you can tell both by the look that he gives Whisper afterwards, after he chuck finishes chuckling, and the fact that you could swear that there's a few strands of her hair on his clothes. Alright. Elias, like, leans over to Grey. What did you do? 
he like looks up at you as he like he like leans over to you and he smile like like well you're sitting next to him right so like he like leans yeah. towards you a smile and whispers in your ear everything <laughs> got it, got, uh, and in I case I was too you. far from the mic he just leans over and goes everything that's in my ear <laughs> that's in my ear <laughs> so whilst she might not be able to hear and whether or not if i get to roll for that she can do, i'm sure garnet can see that's going on looks to gray and elias looks to looks to whisper looks to gray looks to whisper looks back to gray looks back to whisper again and this does that oh and both paws go up to her face. It's like <laughs> the puss and boots fucking thing. Yeah, she, she's doing that, but with both paws. I was, I was really just about to mention that. Well, and I then it almost looks like, like that Garnet. It almost looks like that Garnet is vibrating, but then she stops, and then she just you know just grins at, smiles at, whisper a lot. <laughs> Elias is just nodding slowly, kind of smiling a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Whisper chuckles at Garnet's reaction because that was the greatest. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Well, congratulations. <laughs> What's the baby? <laughs> How rude he lies. Hmm? How rude. No, um, congratulations on the new, uh, budding friendship. Not, you know, we thought it went. <laughs> he just, like, looks at you confused, like, what do you think of it? Oh, I mean, well, never mind. Oh, and I am so sorry. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and, like, so, like, you know, considering that you know, there was no real proper greeting given to this at the table, she actually, you know, properly acknowledges everybody, everyone else at the table. Sort of an attempt to, like, you know, distraction. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, hello, everyone. Arias is good, safe and well. Happy. Think. I do not think that he is happy, but at least he is safe. Mm. I don't think he's ever happy. Yes. What would make Arias happy? He just thinks. Looks up, thinks. Mm. Checks notes. <laughs> yeah, kind of racking her brain too, but nothing's coming up. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Oh, he, he's drunk, and he's a very sad drunk. So clearly drinking will not make him happy. No. How about a song? Looks towards Whisper. Ah, oh, damn it. She's I had my push to talk, talk on the wrong button. Dalron pipes Aww. up, being like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we probably should keep it, keep him from drinking for a while, you know, with... Everything that happened last night, we wouldn't want to, you know, it's, it's probably a bad idea. Wait, was that why? Was it because he was Did he drink? Did he drink and fight? Like, stands up a bit, then gets back down a bit. Kind of looks between everyone else and is like, yeah, but he sh sure fucking did. <laughs> the I uncomfortable look no. around the table. <laughs> Maybe a song's gonna help me. Looks towards Whisper. Oh yeah. yeah I... You should totally sing him a song, Whisper. I sing a song. You know any Neverwinter songs? Oh, but remember, she has told us she is not that kind of bard. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do not understand either. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just sworn she played music before. Nope. Nope. I'm getting my half elf bards and stuff, probably. <laughs> well, given the events of last night, where does that leave all of us? I 
Hey, I'm sorry. He looks up. <laughs> I haven't been arrested yet. You had nothing to do with it, so unless if they took you to one of those rooms to speak with you, I am sure they did not consider you a part of it at all. Yes, but since I came, I came here with a uh, sudden whisper that might be a problem. I do not see how. Uh, he pulls out his ticket, and we're not, and like it'll show like how they those three signed up. I think right. Didn't the dad god? <laughs> yes, dad that god. is correct. <laughs> that is correct, yes. I don't know if this might push the talk off. You again. are worried about your reputation then? No, I'm not worried about my reputation. Then I do not think you have much to worry about in that particular regard. Uh, the room you keep mentioning, what was like that? Garnet's uh, brow furrows a little bit and just sort of says, It was magical in nature, very dark. The guard persons there seemed to have dominion over it somehow, or at least access. They asked, I think, all of us at different times. Lots of questions. Questions did they ask? <clears throat> About the incident. They were quite probing in their manner. Yeah, the other one pipes up. Yeah, the interrogation room is... It gets its name for a reason. Did anyone break? What do you mean? Did anyone break? They tell, they tell, spilled the beans. They told things. Who snitched, I do not have any beans to spill. That's <laughs> to figure out speech, Garnet. Oh, um... What is the figure of speech for? <laughs> When you spill the beans, it means you tell people secrets. I simply told them what happened, and what I thought of Arias, because they seemed to want everyone's opinion of his character. That was all. At least that's what I said, I do not know what the others said. Truthfully, though, we sh it seems ill-fitting to talk about this when Arise is not here. I think if you really wanted to know more, you should ask him. Yeah. Yeah, well, if he's alright, then, uh... Perhaps it's best if we have a talk with him after all. Darwin says, since you've we're able to find him, right? Yes. yes, at least physically he is all right. Oh, but we, my goodness, on the way back we had quite the encounter, didn't we? Did we not, Trang? I mean, God, did we not, Elias? <laughs> what's a train? Trang, what's a train? Oh, God. <gasps> Have you been studying about locomotion as well, uh, Garnet? Haruki pipes up. Anyway. <laughs> train will be arriving in 28 minutes. Anyway. Well, yeah. Damn. It was quite fun, actually. Well, it was quite unexpected. There were five or six mountain lions. Mm. Tenacious little shits, aren't they? Oh, were you... Did you find yourselves in the mountains, or... In the forest areas around them. Yeah, it can be really dangerous if you guys uh, walk around that area. There's also a, a pond. Yeah, yeah. It's the 
Well, like far east of here. Should be careful. Good hunting ground for animals and especially giant frogs. But yeah, we uh, almost ran into trouble there. She kind of looks bashfully at Dalaran. Well, yes, they were quite the bit of trouble, but we managed to survive, of course. And some of the others got something from them, their mountain lions, so perhaps they may have something to offer the hunting lodge. Hmm, that'll be good. I haven't seen you guys around that parts at all recently. I don't think we're just on a quest, so... Nah, uh, yeah, I guess. It's just not enough people stop by there. I don't get to pick through all the newcomers things nearly as much as they had to and Tarky kind of like kind of like does the whole thing where she kind of like slaps his arm Craig mm -hmm. it would certainly be nice if there were more quests I was thinking about dropping by the hunting lodge but uh, then Arias was missing so Oh, actually, it's funny you should mention that, um, Haruki, you, when you were going to the bathroom, like, yeah, I saw them put up, uh, two new notices on the board, uh, while, uh, <clears throat> a Grey and a Whisper were away. <laughs> kind of looks away. <laughs> Garnet suppresses a grin by just putting it forward above her face, like, you know, sort of, like, eyes darting towards Whisper. Elias is like she was a children. Gosh. The whisper smirk. Bastards. The new emote. Anyway. <laughs> In that case, perhaps we should take a peek. Mm. Maybe once we all get back to the tents. And a nice rest. Well, I will be resting here. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, Whisper? Yeah, right. She uh, hands you your key. Thank you. She just tucks it away. Yeah, you get your key back, and it looks just the same way as when you left it. Fantastic. Alrighty. And, uh, so yeah, uh, you guys stand up and start walking toward the board? Yeah, got, yeah. got a curiosity's peaked, so she's definitely going to excuse herself and take a look. Elias would love to. In the meantime, Gunnar's going to try and drag Whisper along too, by the wrist. Okay. No. Uh, oh, come on, it will be fun. Oh, if fine. Calm, she, if she gives up, he keeps, keeps going to look. No, she no, like, when you're like, come on, it'll be fun, she's like, fine. <laughs> she walks. <laughs> Yeah, as uh, you guys get up and start walking towards, uh, you guys all get up. Uh, Whisper, you feel a tug on your dress as you start getting up. Look down. Uh, you see Grey's hand. Okay. I look at Grey. <laughs> kind of gives you this look, kind of like this like little jut of the chin. What does this mean? <laughs> uh, insight check if you want to. Insight... Eleven. Eleven. He's basically asking you, like, if you're good to go with them right now. She kind of nods. And he just turns around and continues talking to Dalaran as if he didn't even stop. Tight. Okay. With Garnet, I go. My goodness. He had a hard time letting you go. Uh... <laughs> Garnet, roll perception to see if you notice this. I was dragging Whisper <laughs> by the wrist before. I figured I'd see it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Perception, that's a 10. I'm gonna roll it for him. Nah. Uh, yeah, you don't notice. Fine. You just see Whisper stop for like two, two footsteps, like two seconds, and then keep walking. Okay. Okay. I notice if they noticed. What? Did I notice it either? Are what? you asking if you <laughs> noticed if Garnet noticed? No, if he if he noticed what Garnet said as we 
Oh, no, oh, no that's uh, redacted. That was based off information that I assumed I had. Yeah. So, as you guys continue walking, you actually hear the doors of the friendly armen fly open, like, kicked open, like, pfft. Uh... Do you guys turn around and look? Actually, you guys would be walking towards that direction if you're walking toward the quest board, so, yeah, you guys do. Elias is very annoyed by the sudden loud noises. And, and like, loud noises, it's like, what? It's very, and very alert right now. You see, uh, go ahead and roll me perception checks, the three of you. Perception. Perception. That is persuasion. Four. Makes sense. Uh, Grace, so. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, so, they actually can't see from their position, ironically enough. Well, Gray actually could. Well, anyway, point is, yeah, Whisper, you're thinking about stuff, but Garnet and Elias, as you look past, you see a crowd kind of come up. You see uh, two dwarves kind of come in, and at first you think they're drunk, and then you see uh, a number of guard run up to them as one of the dwarves falls over and another one runs up and picks him back up off the floor. And uh, with when you guys listening to to hear them chanting and trumpeting, it's like hurry up, or he will die. Uh, and this is where we will end the session. Said, oh what? my god! Up. What? He said what? Hurry up, or he will die. Can you say it in? Can you oh, say it in? Frick. Can you say it in that that verse? Hurry up, or he will die. Oh, okay. He's gonna oh. die. Oh no! Oh no, oh, no this random he, person he, I've never met. She is Fuck. going to die. Man, this place is a. Man, this entire area is like, you know, it's like beginner level starting, but it's so bloody deadly. It's like, wow. <laughs> this is fucking uh -huh. wild. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. Hello, Let everyone. Go back to my, my, my tent is safe. I want to go back there. I want to go back to my tent. My tent is safe. <laughs> <laughs> my tent is my That's safe. That's I got like my Marlin. Tent, my tent is my safe my my safe point. Until that gets stolen too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you, you dare steal my safe point, I will load my latest save and go back before it was stolen and save my spot there. I mean Garden wouldn't would Don't not worry, steal... guys, I have safe state. Yeah, Garden wouldn't steal Elisa's tent unless you gave her good cause. Yeah, he he would never give you a good cause to steal. Mm-hmm. You say that mm -hmm. until she steals your fucking tent. But hey, uh, that was fun. How about you? How did you guys um, find all that? Emotion. All right. It was pretty. It was pretty fun. But uh, all those jokes, man. Oh. <laughs> all those ooh, things are starting to come out. <laughs> In no, no, it's, it's fine. What I said does no trouble. Full, full, full. It's good. I'm just glad that Garner could pick up what was being put down so she could be happy for Whisper. <laughs> oh my gosh, Whisper, you got fucked! We, <laughs> we used the term laid, but okay. It's like, uh, finally, I mean, Whisper, you, finally. you had a chance to work off all of your all weight, all but your you were still stressed. Why is this? What? Oh my god, I'm running so hard right now. <laughs> Jeez. I've never stopped grinning. <laughs> oh wow. Elias is sad. I mean, sorry, Adias is sad. Lucas is having a good time. When oh, my Poor my Whisper. I am. There's so much shit. Everything. There's so much shit. Guys, there's so much shit. <laughs> yeah. At least you guys got to, like, fight mountain lions. <laughs> Yeah. You got to do physical activity, too. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, you know, people have problems, and, you know, what are friends for but for talking about those problems? What are friends for but for rubbing the salt in the wounds during those problems? <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> what are friends but for hiding a, but, but for hiding a dead body? Uh, I'm sorry, what? No, if you're then, uh, those 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 are the best friends, honestly. Yeah, you, you know exactly. Friend, yeah, if you could have a friend that does that, they're just like your number one friend. 
You know you have true friends if you show up with like a body bag and some shovels and they just don't say anything. They just come with you to help you bury it. That's that's a good friend right there. They're not even yeah. going to ask a question. Hmm. Good Do you guys have good friends? You and your friends go out and get drunk every Sunday brunch. Me and my friends bury each other's dead bodies. We are not the same, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we are not the same. Wait, are your friends in a death pact or something? No, we're grave clerics. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I get it. You said bury each other's dead bodies. Yeah, because they're grave clerics. That's the joke. That's the joke. Also, whoever keeps oh. slamming their table, please fucking stop. <laughs> they might not even be aware yeah, of it. I'm not even is. sure. Damn it, Dakota, now, now I feel bad for being hyperbolic with my outrage. <laughs> we lose. Uh, I, mean, I mean, clearly you're irritated and stuff because, you know, all the sirens going on in your background, so I can't... The sirens them. are annoying as hell. I'm also exhausted today. I hope everyone had fun. I, I, hope, fun. I hope the roleplay and pacing was engaging. I'm, my head is clouded right now. I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. to be fucking happy. But it's always sad. <laughs> <laughs> and he keeps getting in worse situations. We got so drunk make... once, at least, but he was also sad then. I don't know what you want from us. Hey, don't worry. I want Elias to open up more, but no one's asking me questions. I was going to comment on the fact that you're acting different. You were edgy before. What happened? <laughs> I, decided to be, I decided to be better. I went to a beach. <laughs> hey man, that shit helps. <laughs> went to a beach and had a, I went to the beach and had a nice shot of me looking at the sunset, and then it clicked. Well, we were all having a stressful time. You went out to the beach. Yeah, literally, like I, went beach I, went, I, a, I went to the beach. I went. I had. I went to the beach. I went fishing. I'm in a nice green dragonborn. Wait, Save it for uh -huh. next week. Yep. Well, okay. He had a good time, and we had a time. You had two. Man, now I can't. Man, I already can't wait for next week. But it's like, wow, because uh, we have the opportunity to get the whole gang together to maybe do a thing, I and know, then right? learn about Elias's lady friend now. <laughs> what about mm. Elias's lady friend? I mean, I can. I mean, you know, uh, Garnet's just going to assume everything in her head because that's fun. Garnet's a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's I can't not. believe Elias finally met a snake charmer. Yeah, <gasps> better than the ones back at home. Oh. What are you talking about? He's already met one. <laughs> oh. Wait, he's becoming just, one. Just no one, think, no one asks about it, though. <laughs> I, well, we don't know about it. Okay, yeah. No, in in I, all seriousness, no, no, in all seriousness, it's tricky to sort of organically do it, which is why, yeah. at the very least, I was having Garnet be curious about Nirvana and stuff. So I was trying to sort of, you know, yeah, build I upon trying, it a bit. I was trying to ease, like, what about you? Like, your backstory, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. But I just oh yeah, it's fine. ah uh, yes, us snake people. We like snakes, it's... as snake people do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's people. Uh, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that question. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry. It's why I designed my character to be curious, so she'll eventually ask the right question if nothing Final... else comes up. Final session. Hey Elias, what's your backstory? <laughs> Like, we're, we're in the middle of an epic boss battle, like, oh, falling off a cliff. Huh. I just love that fucking Elias every session, every other session is just like, engage with me! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, gosh, it's, a, gosh, it's, it, it's not like that, you know, somebody else could, you know, ask a question. Just, just, you know, just saying. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. people, you know, that everyone's so ashamed, or, like, you know, KG, it's like, you know, no, I can't tell them my secrets, oh no. Okay. Oh, there's a reason he can't tell mm -hmm. just anyone. <laughs> there's a reason why he's only been engaging with you, Garnet. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. I will uh, I will keep that in mind. I he only trusts cats. That's no he only trusts cats. That, oh. I, I feel like the two oh. people No, I feel like the two people Elias could tell is Lorelai and Garnet. Well they are the nicest Everybody people in this party, I will admit. They are the nicest people yes. in this party, so yes. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, no problem. I'll I'll send you my paycheck. 
<laughs> Did you know that platypi babies are called puggles? Oh, puggles? Oh, oh, oh. No. Super adorable. Oh, platypi is terrifying. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're cute as, they're cute as all get out. What's wrong with you? They're so cute. Unless if, unless if you're saying they're terrifying. Is you know um, the males having the spur, which could, which is venomous, but yes, because they are they are murder beavers. No. They, are de- they are deceptively murderous. There are no. quite a few creatures. They look so cute, but they will t- they will wreck your shit. In full seriousness, those things are actually only really come into play during the whole uh, when males are like you know competing for territory or for partners. So. It's sometimes a self-defense thing, but it's predominantly for that. What? Adipose mm-hmm. venom could help develop future types, ty- future type two diabe- diabetes medication. What? Ha! Huh. You're welcome, the rest of the world. <laughs> also, I have spread misinformation. They are not called puggles. That is an internet myth that I fell for, and I'm glad that I googled. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I was, I was, I was taking your word for it. So thank you. Did you know that a group of a group of rabbits or like I think it was rabbits or bunnies, but it's called a fluffle. Yes. A what? A fluffle. A fluffle of bunnies. (laughs) Just imagine a alright, Sasha, just imagine a fluffle of fluffers. A fluffle of flumps. A flumpful. It could be terrifying or really cool. No, Sasha, think. Think about it. A fluffle of fluffers. Um, okay, he's, he's not. He's not getting it. <laughs> fluffers. No, is I, 50... I, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not touching fluffers it. Fluffers is the fifty foot by fifty foot rabbit that we pulled out of a hat. Huh? It's <laughs> what? It's another game where I'm the on team. He's the tank fuel. Oh my gosh! He switched. <laughs> All right, so Who's the with, uh, with all of that, I think uh, I think this is a good point to uh, call it a session. We can hang out. I wanna I wanna rate our boys at Perception Studios the like the actual like full on puppet Muppets like official Muppet D and D group thing. Hey, and, they're uh, not they're uh, not puppets. They're our felted friends. Felted friends, yeah. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't checked out Perception Studios in forever, so I'm just gonna... Well, if everyone's cool with it, I'm just gonna send a small raid their way. Okay, thanks for yeah. coming, chat. Yeah, thanks for hanging for out, coming. chat. Sorry about engaging Bye, being yeah. a little low today. Just really, really tired, so we're just gonna call it a session here. But uh, guys, we'll catch you guys next week at 8pm Tuesday, Eastern Standard Time, for more Dund.